What's up? I was having a moment of reflection. Yeah, you see that big bag? That's on my bed. I went to Books A Million and spent like $120 something dollars on books. Cause it was just one of those days where that's that's my birthday present to myself. I I love books. I'm kind of a a geek. Like on my days off, you will catch me at home, pretty much with a book. But um, another year. Today is the 26th Wednesday. Monday I'll be 33 on the 31st, and I was just thinking. I suck. <laughs> oh God, dirty joke. But um, <clears throat> like, I feel like I'm gonna cry. <clears throat> I started YouTube two years ago, and I have gained. And I started YouTube for my weight loss journey. And since the start of my weight loss journey on YouTube, I'm going to say, I've gained 20 pounds. So in two years, I've gained 20 pounds, 10 pounds a year, basically almost, almost a pound a month. My son is five and he will be six in July. When I got pregnant, I was 2.30 in the 230s when I had him and I had him early I was 205 I had really severe morning sickness super severe which is another reason why I think I went into early labor because it, it was horrible I mean obviously if I'm losing weight and I was eating or at least I was trying to but whatever I lost 30 pounds while I was pregnant that so was 205. That was the closest that I had been in being in, you know, one anything, you know, six pounds away from being 199. I haven't been in the 100s since high school. So we're talking about what? Like, uh, God. Over a decade ago. So let's say 205 till now. 287.6, I believe. 288. I have gained over 70 pounds since my son has been born. I have gained. 20 pounds in the past two years while on a weight loss weight loss journey very depressing um whew. yeah Definitely need to do something about that. So, you know, I don't make, well, sometimes I do, but rarely do I really make New Year's resolutions because I always feel like, hey, my birthday is right around the corner. And my birthday seems to be the time where I'm like more introspective and more. I don't know. Moody? I don't think that's the right word. That's not the word I'm looking for. But more like reevaluating my life and work, what I'm doing, where I'm going, what I could do to, you know, be better and all that stuff. So, uh, excuse me, y'all. Um, yeah. So it's hard. It's very hard. Weight loss 
is no joke. But, um, no, I'm scared. Uh, um, I'm, I'm scared because it's like I'm 12 pounds away from being 300 pounds. 300 pounds. I'm 5'5. Five, 5'6 five, five, on a good day. <laughs> um, when I tell people my weight, and I would stand up and show you, but I'm in my night clothes, obviously. When I tell people my weight, they're like, oh, you don't look that big. And I realize, you know, this might be TMI, but most of it is in my chest. I realize that. I wear a 44H. I realize I have a big chest. I, I know that I'm top heavy. I've always been top heavy. So, but being top heavy still doesn't change the number on the scale. And I have seen people on YouTube, um, you know, like Beautiful Brown Baby Doll. I think she is just so amazing. But, I mean, she didn't have a chest as big as mine. But she lost 100 pounds and her her chest shrunk. So, I'm, you know, thinking if I ever did lose weight that they would shrink too. And that surgery wouldn't be necessary. But... I don't know. I have a doctor's appointment on the 14th, I believe, of April, and I'm terrified of that because this is the first time I've been to the doctor since I've had my baby. I go to the doctor all the time, but it's for my son. Um, I have not been to the doctor for me since I've been pregnant. I, I didn't have insurance. I couldn't really afford to pay for it. I had applied for insurance five times and got turned down through DHS, which is, you know, the Department of Human Services, the people who do food stamps. I didn't even apply for that because I know they they would tell me no, which is weird because I make minimum wage, so whatever. But, you know, it seems like with the Obamacare law, they have to give you insurance if you are basically below poverty and a lot of people are clowning on it but hey I got my insurance it so I'm not complaining because they wouldn't give it to me before so as soon as I got my little blue care shield card in the mail I called a doctor and I made me an appointment because you know 33 I need to be more active about my health um, not just the weight I need to there's a history of high blood pressure and diabetes and all that in my family I mean I'm a woman we have higher health risk I'm black we have higher health risk so uh, I need to get on the ball I really do I mean I started with the fruit of plant of thing I still have we talking about two years ago I still got some of them things around here somewhere I don't know where, but they they probably in the medicine cabinet, in the linen closet, or underneath my bathroom sink. I still got them. Didn't take them all. I hate taking pills. If, if y'all know me, I hate taking pills. But, um, whew, I didn't mean for this to be depressing. It was just a moment of reflection. And just keep me in your prayers. Because I feel like... I feel depressed. I feel weird depressed. And, um, to be honest, my family, mainly my son, my son and my mom and my dad, my parents probably don't even know it, <laughs> but they're the only bright spots in my life. Ugh, so before I cry again on camera, let me say good night.